Gentlemen, I have some bad news. My truck got broken into and I got something pretty big stolen from me. It was about 3 a.m. in the morning and one of the worst things you can hear during the middle of the night is just someone banging at your door. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know who was at that door. Put on my man voice, ask who is it? And luckily it was my neighbor and he's telling me someone just broke into my truck and they grabbed my Yeti cooler out of there and just ran to the car. But the crazy thing is about a week later, Simply Safe hits me up to sponsor a video. So this video is sponsored by Simply Safe. And what Simply Safe is, is a customizable, easy to use home security system. Getting your fishing gear stolen is no joke. So you better believe right when they sent it out to me, I got it set up. Boom. <laughs> Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home is safe and it will be monitored 24 seven. So if anything does happen, the police will be called. Of course it has fair and honest prices and it's easy to use and set up, even, even I did it. Basically it's all about this guy right here and the home base right here. Let me show you some of the defenses we got going on here. Simply Safe on home. Of course, we've got the main thing I wanted. We got the entry sensor right up there. Anyone who opens the door will know about it. If we accidentally leave the door open, we'll know about that as well. We got the sleek motion sensor up there hanging out. And one of the coolest things, we got the spy camera right there. Glass break sensor, camera doorbell, smoke detector. You'll even be prepared for the worst case scenario. Even if the power goes out, it has a backup battery. Now that we got our fishing gear safe, why don't we actually get out and do some fishing? We have got an amazing, amazing day right now. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take that guy out to the beach. We're heading back to the big water for some big fish, but first, uh, we're gonna waste a lot of money. Okay, we got some, we got some stuff. All right, here's what we got. We got a lot of big fish lures. Now what we have to do is get out to the beach and see what it looks like. One of my favorite feelings is when you're on the road to the beach and you just get your first glimpse of that water. It can either be bad news, some bad surf, or it can be amazing, amazing looking surf. And when it's like that, you pretty much know you're gonna have a good day. We do have some some amount of waves out there. The wind did, the wind, the wind's a little bit higher than it's supposed to be. The wind's a little bit higher. Ah, just do it. Just get in there, bud. Oh yeah, and this is the upgrade we got. We got a nice long fish bag right there. Just in case we do, just on the you know off chance that we do catch fish. Okay. Woo. I, was, I was a little bit worried there. Dude, it's a little bit rough out here, boys. All right, we're going the same plan. We're gonna hit up these rigs over here. First lure, the good old Halco. It never fails us. Oh, I just freaked out because I thought I just saw like the craziest school of fish, giant fish, but uh, it's just dolphins and they're beelining towards me. They're coming back to attack me. Wow, water's pretty clear. Oh. Now we play with them. Whoa, they're all right under us. That's so awesome. Oh, and I don't know where they went. All right, here's the game plan. No bites out here, just dolphins. So we're gonna rip it out to the jetties. And I'm telling you, man, I was there yesterday. There were so many freaking tarpon. So maybe that's what we're gonna be going for. these jetties have to say it is getting a little bit windy here but I'm seeing a ton of birds and lately man the jetty conditions just have been looking amazing I'm telling you man the wind was not supposed to kick up like this not yet at least maybe later in the day but it's the worst thing about Corpus Christi there's good fishing but there's a ton of wind all right man let's see if anything is going on out here I'm hoping there is but we never know everyone's fishing this side I'm guessing because the wind but I'm seeing bird activity over here. And this is usually the side with some good trout. Sometimes, <laughs> not always. That is not good. Oh man, that was a nice fish. We lost him. Golly, that might've been, 
Well, we're going. Oh my god, it's so windy, dude. We're going for snook in these rocks right here, and we actually got a hookup. There's something. That is something big. What is this, dude? This might be a. <laughs> it feels like a hardy boy. It might be a giant trout, though. We got something. Yeah, yeah, if you have a net. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> Here, I'll trade you. No, 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 no. I'll get you got it. it? You're landing him. <laughs> be careful, man. Be careful. Not my first move. He's fighting, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. dang, that's a nice one. That's a fucking nice trout right there. Thank you so much, man. You bet. I always do that. Wow. <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's a good one. Holy cow. Oh, my God, dude. That's so much bigger than I thought. Oh, check out that fish right there. We actually caught a fish. Not a bad one either. A pretty, pretty big guy. I did not think he was going to be this big even. And he's croaking too, so... There's a chance this guy is a big male. We're gonna let him go though. Woohoo! Didn't even get a measurement. You're going the wrong way, bud. You're going the wrong way, my man. I know you like them rocks, but you don't want to get stuck in them. There you go. Woohoo! No! Ugh. Listen, nobody wants to catch a turtle, but when you're fishing the jetties, it's gonna happen. What I don't want to see happen is people hooking one and then cutting the line. You gotta get in there, dude. Be careful, but uh, you gotta get the hooks out of that turtle. Well, it's about middle of the day right now and the bite has died down. And you know what, it's about the worst time of day to fish. So we're gonna get out of here, but we will come back. And I'm thinking when we get back, we go all in for some snook. All right, listen, we're getting back in there. The thing is, the wind picked up even more. So uh, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to fish. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be windy. Don't you wish you could just teleport? instead of driving. It should be faster. All right, time to hit up the jetties for the second time. And uh, yeah, it's pretty freaking windy. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. First cast. It's a trout, I think. Yeah, it's not as big as I thought he was, but I'll take him. You know what size he is? He's eating size. I don't want to hoist him. Whoa. And there he goes. <laughs> Alright, that's a good sign though. They're in here, boy. And that's the first bite I've ever had on this lure. We've got the deep, deep diving for Paul. It's good for confidence, man, because I've been trying to use this lure for snook. I thought it would be really good for snook, and I haven't hooked one yet. But I'm pretty sure if a trout will eat it, a snook will eat it too. That's a fish though. There's the snook, dude. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> a mini snook. Whoa. It took a long enough to catch one small snook. We ain't caught it yet. Mission accomplished, boys. Let's go with the tiny snook. Believe it or not, there's a freaking ton of these guys down there. There's the man right there. We got him. We got him in the wind. The guy we were looking for. Lip them like a bass, Woo. and we're ready to release. So weird, bud. We'll put them back in the crack. <laughs> All right, now we just need to get a giant version of that. <laughs> it was a freaking dink, too. It still counts, though. Everyone who's saying it doesn't count, it counts. We accomplished the mission, all right? I thought a little bit of a night bite was gonna happen right before sunset. Uh, it kind of did happen, except it was all super tiny Spanish mackerel. There was a ton of them, but 
Oh, yeah, at least we didn't get skunked today. The last two days, uh, I may or may not have gotten skunked. Well, that was one of those days where you have to work to catch fish, but we got what we were looking for. We got a pretty, pretty nice trout and that giant snook that we wanted. And there has been a little bit of a delay in the video production lately, and that's because I've been working with a few companies, but uh, more importantly, it's because I've been going after bigger fish. Oh yeah, we got, we got this guy too, if you didn't know. We've been trying to snipe some fish too. I've gotten out a few times with this bad boy right here, and uh, the one time I hit the target, we got a nice cow nose ray. I wasn't even recording. But the reason I have been going for cow nose rays is because I've been shark fishing lately. And uh, kind of similarly, 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 I've been missing the mark on the sharks too. I've caught a few, but uh, none too big. Nothing really video worthy, just some four and five foot sharks. So pretty much I've wasted a lot of time going shark fishing and not getting videos. But out at the surf, it's still a lot of fun to be out there, one of my favorite places on earth, so it's not really a waste of time. But just wait, we're gonna get some snipes on video and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this year, man, I'm gonna catch a nice shark. Believe it, it hasn't happened yet, but believe it, I believe. So we're trying to get back to our unregularly scheduled videos. I love you guys very much. We'll see you guys next time. That's how you do it right there. Professional marksman.